Welcome back to the live coverage of YCS Milan 2018. We just performed a quick award ceremony for the Dragon Duel players. Now we're back with the main event. This is where only 16 players remain. We shrunk it down to 1% of the initial attendance with more than 1,700 players showing up yesterday morning. And we have the last two Greek players in the event duking it out. So we're going to see you. The good news is there's going to be a Greek player in the top eight. The bad news is we only have one Greek player in the top eight, if you're a fan of the Greek players. Let's bring them in. On the blue, in the blue corner, we got Erikos Beck. Hi, Erikos. Hello. How are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. I, I talked to you earlier. Um, you were going undefeated for the longest time today. Mm -hmm. And then you had a defeat in round number 10? Yeah, that's correct. And then what happened afterwards? I drew round 11 and uh, I won top 32, of course. Of <laughs> obviously, yes. Here, yes. So um, obviously your, your deck hasn't let you down so far. Um, how are you feeling with your deck choice for the event? Yeah, I'm pretty happy I'm playing a deck I'm confident with, so I think I'm good. You were also in the top card at YCS Utrecht. Yeah, that's correct. And you had... Even more good results. Throw some of those out. You know them all. Yeah, I mean, this year has been a pretty good year for me. I topped the Greek Nats and Euros as well as with Okay, so very good year for you, indeed. All right. So, how are you feeling about it, uh, playing in the future match against Dimitrius? Yeah, I don't like playing in the future match because I lost the two last times, Utrecht and London. So I'm a bit afraid. But and I know Dimitrius is a good player because he's from Greece in our Skype call. All right. Well, every streak must come to an end. I mean, Marcello knows something about that. So let's see, maybe you can you can break your streak today and come out winning. So please have a seat. All right, his opponent, Dimitris Rafalidis, also from Greece. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How, uh, how did your tournament go? It goes really well. Uh, I had to win all three uh, Swiss rounds today. So okay. yeah, so it was really hard, but I succeed and here I am. Did you, after the, the Swiss portion of the tournament was finished, did you let out like a big break? You're like, poof, finally yes, I did yes, it? Yes, I did it. And how did it then feel to win the top 32 match? Uh, it was uh, really amazing. I was, uh, I'm very happy that I win. Mm -hmm. yes. And you also had good results before, right? Uh, weren't you in the top cut at the European Championship? Yes, I ended down top uh, 32, mm -hmm. which I lost uh, to the European Championship. Okay, well, yeah. that happened. So, yeah. So, yes. All right. And how are you feeling about playing in the feature match against Erikos? Yeah, I know him. He's a really good player. I know him from Greece, so it's a really hard um, match. So uh, I hope I enjoy it and the best will win. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please have a seat as well. So let's perform the dice roll and see who's going to go first here. Let's give me the dark dice. That's a one. I always have to think about it. And that's a two. All right. So you get to decide who goes first. I will start. All right. Not surprisingly, Dimitris also wants to go first. With that, the stage has been set. Our players are ready. It's almost time to duel. Let's take it away, guys. Marcello Barberi and Tom Payne. Welcome to the top 16, guys. Uh, we're here with uh, a quite interesting match. We have, uh, first of all, as Oliver said, a mirror match between Greece players. Indeed. And uh, yeah. Erikos told me that they... Um, they played recently in an LLDS final, oh, okay, that's which cool. he lost and is keen to get revenge on. And yeah, it's the third player that talks about this Greek uh, Skype call. They must be amazing. <laughs> I mean, if two of them... We should get on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah. But yeah, they are. Um, they definitely know each other. We can assume that they know what uh, they are playing. Most since, likely. Most likely. I, I feel like by this point in the event as well. I mean, yeah, it's quite possible that they they heard from friends or other players but before jumping on into the match let's take a look at uh, our bracket from top 16 and top 32 in general so there we oh, go here we go so uh as you can see there are some pretty good uh players still left in the tournament so we want to pick up uh, on the top left uh, federico pastore which is still undefeated we saw Against and uh, Dinka Boy. Dinka Boy is Prankid, so Prankid is still in the tournament, surprisingly. Uh, we can see, of course, Joshua Smith, Samir is still in, and uh, we also have, uh, have Zeki Shah, yeah, who is featured in the bubble. Exactly, is Pendulum. And then uh, Simon E, of course, Darren, Federico Megozzi, all pretty known players, to be fair. And, and the bottom uh, right is Erikos. Yeah, uh, yeah. something to worth mentioning. Uh, 
Italians, what did you do? You were the, <laughs> in 11, like, my damn. Just got bombed like, out. Yeah, the there are no team. more, there are only two Italians left, which are actually uh, friends because they talk to each other, as you said, Federico, before. Uh, but wow, I'm surprised by that. Nine Italians managed to lose in top 32, and now we're left with only two. I think the Germans may have been responsible. I'm seeing a lot of Germans. Yeah, I mean, a France also players. is uh, is uh, holding on strong. We have three French three players. French, uh, three British. So, yeah, they basically the Italians, uh, decided uh, it was enough. 32 is fine. I think it was lunch time, so they probably decided it was <laughs> good to leave. But yeah, I mean, uh, for uh, talking, go. B let's go back to the decks real quick. Yeah. So now we can say that Ericos is playing uh, Sky Strikers. I don't think it comes as a big uh, surprise because he has been playing that for the past events. Uh, he played yeah. a different deck at London, actually. He was playing yeah. the Dark Warrior deck at London. Yeah, that's fair, but he topped with the Utrecht. He topped Utrecht. With at Utrecht, indeed. Yeah, and uh, his opponent is actually on Thunder Dragon. So we saw that he won the Dyro, which is definitely an advantage in this matchup, I say. I don't, I don't think Sky Striker mind going second too but, much. No, but, yeah. but against Thunder Dragon, I guess, not that much. Erikos has got the three solemn strike in the main deck, which you'd much prefer yeah. going. First, but really. let's figure it out and let's see what happens in this match, so let's jump it. Okay, friendly handshake, always good to see, and let's see. So you were saying that uh, Dimitris is playing a particular version of the deck. You want to go more into it? Um, well, yeah, so he's running the baby dragons, as I call them. I yeah. don't know what <laughs> other people call them. Easier than White Dragon, Wyver Buster, and uh, Black Serpent. Dragon, Collapse Serpent, which I quite like. Um, oh, that's a lot of Thunder Dragons. Oh, wow. Does it work? Yeah, it works. <laughs> He's got the, the Hawk. And it does, but yeah, drawing two of the original one is never a good feeling. And Sadly. Yeah. Uh, but he will be able to summon at least, at least one Colossus. Is that all the Colossus? Um. That's all I can see. Um, yeah, because he can't really get the... Because um, if you banish them, I think you could get to the... Oh, hang on. I always get Roar no, and I think Dark you can get the wrong you. way around. Yeah, Yeah, you can get you because you can go into the fusion afterwards. Yeah, you can banish for... Or you can tribute someone. Or you can tribute someone. That makes possibly more sense. I mean, it shouldn't change much, but yeah. I guess you waste the uh, less... Extra deck. Yeah, but yeah, as you said, the baby dragons are quite cool. They work well with Blinling Fusion, and uh, he's not playing though Eclipse Wyvern or, any, or anything fancy like that. He just likes them as Link. Oh, I like Eclipse Wyvern. Yeah, it's so it's much fun. fun. It's fun. So, what do we do? We think he picks up a Thunder Dragon Fusion here. Uh, yeah, because he, he he's used, used the, almost the normal all the other summon. ones, right? Yeah. He's not maining Denko Sekka, though, which uh, would have been relevant next turn to search, but yeah. As uh, expected, he picks up the fusion and he will be able to end on two Colossus, most or likely. Or Colossus Titan, depending on what yeah. he prefers. I think two Colossus seems. Yeah, in this matchup, it seems fair. And actually, right now, we can see that Erikos does not have a good response. Got the original Thunder Dragon in the graveyard. Yeah. He's got Widow Anchor, so but that does uh, one. <laughs> that's one. It's not two. <laughs> yeah, because unfortunately, we know Afterburners is not effective since they can just actually beneficial to the Thunder Dragon <laughs> player. Yes, indeed. Uh, so I guess, I mean, I guess for Erikos, he's probably hoping for either a token or a ray off the top. Yeah. The, the drains. And he gets, ah, the third Solemn Strike, wow. Oh dear. Wow. Yeah, that dice roll was very impactful, I think. That's a sad, yeah. He can't really make good use of them. I don't know if he can do anything. I mean, he can use <sighs> Afterburner and Widow Anchor it's definitely in an tough. attempt to survive. It's gonna be quite tough. I mean, it depends on Dimitris, but uh, you never expect. Yeah, I, I think oh, I. Using it. I think I agree with that, because otherwise, yeah, you're just gonna definitely good run choice. out of life points if they both hit. You can't use all the strikes. Definitely correct here by Erikos. But I think the hawk. Oh, and the brilliant fusion. Oh, the brilliant fusion helps, but right now we can't use it. Now, imagine if the Dankoseka was in the deck. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been amazing <laughs> against Triple Solemn Strike. Denko versus Triple Strike. <laughs> yeah, that's a good pair. But Denko is not there, so we'll see how it goes, because honestly, you can't expect Triple Solemn Strike, to be fair. 
No. So That's a lot of solemn songs. Yeah, it's not obvious that he will be able to play around all of them. So if for some reason he decides to get rid of his Colossus, then it's possible that he doesn't get, a, get another, another copy. Out, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's very possible that he'll get rid of his Colossus if he wants to summon more. Yeah. He got the duo, though, which is uh, going to help... Uh, oh, he's main decking duo. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's going to be really powerful here because he's going to be able to banish yeah. and trigger two Thunder Dragons. Which is definitely huge. And it means he can just keep the Colossus where it is. And yeah, he probably can just put enough pressure without him using his Zephyr. I mean, he may even have to strike that, yeah. yeah. He got three of them. Did he banish? Did he banish? Uh, he banished two hundred of the team. Uh, we can look at his banish cards. Uh, he banished Raw and Summer. Yeah. So he needs the effect of Raw. And I guess... Ah, I'm sorry to use that, but... Oh, he's an artist for a spec on Raw. But he's hoping that the nature just won't have any more sounds. Uh, I think I would prefer to keep because he can't do anything with the monster. The thing is, now, even just the lock is game, isn't it? I was four. I think he has 24. So, yeah, this is game. So, he needs to flip that, and now he, I think he is. He has to stop. Oh, did you put on a thunder? No, he had to put on a thunder. He used one and shuffled back of confusion, didn't he? Yes. So he had to do just one to the one deck. Yeah. Um, is that a game? Oh, it could be yeah, a game. It should be a game. Yeah, and you're going to have to put it on the record in his hand. Yeah, now you can just uh, go. I mean, it depends if you play double summoner, I think that's right. Uh. Does he play double summoner? He does. Okay, that was missing game at the meeting. Unfortunately, we saw the people strike from Angus with Whipman and Devastating if you want to die. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he would have only two strikes, but indeed. Yeah. I mean, you just see, like, this match, it feels like you put the Thunder Dragons out, like, it's almost like uh, it's a barrier that the Sky Strike player has to get through in order yeah. to get out of play. Just do you have an answer to the. Yeah, I mean, the classes. It's still an interesting matchup because it's not guaranteed that uh, it's, it doesn't happen. You don't know what happens for sure. Because sometimes they're able to, to destroy the barrier. But yeah, if they um, can get through it, yeah. you'd probably, uh, yeah, you'd probably have to just strike the player to win. Yeah. But, but it's not guaranteed if they can't get through it, then. Definitely. And uh, it wasn't a particularly good hand for the issues, right? No. no. It was basically. Or relevant to be searched, and I mean, I'm 
I'm interested to say, I mean, not even in the What surprised me the most is that he's not even playing with Iron Man. So, he doesn't have normal summons, it's actually. Oh, he doesn't have a normal summons. Okay, I'm gonna buy Okay, I can't see it now. Because that game, we know it would have been relevant, but let's see the end. He's so engaged. It seems like an average end. This is how I have a bit of engagement, right? You're happy to engage. And that was like a super quick. Hang on, is that a time correct? Okay, I really made it so we can stop for a second. Then I went up and I started going down. I feel like that game is more than nothing yet, so maybe I'm wrong. Uh, just a little bit long, to be honest. It was just three turns. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I was going to say, I know it doesn't matter. Most games are three turns. Dash is gonna hurt with the if he draws the ultimate and get people out of the whole body the way, which I think he got. So let's see. He didn't get the dash. Ah, he got the anger. Okay. I was yeah. thinking, like, would you prefer to have the booster? <laughs> yeah. Pretty bold, though. I mean, I suppose it's good. The fun effect is not on replay. Like, how do you do this? You shouldn't. How do you do this? You have, like, you've got no success. Yeah. Um, I agree. Yeah, the thing is that if you're some more than one, you should not feel the future, you'll be able to time. Yeah. Yeah. 
even with one. I'm like, no, he has shorts to it. He almost had a car that's like a son. Probably just like with uh, number six, like I all of the others, but because of the choices and then even the maps. Well, but actually, not really. It was like the spell where both players have to be the most of the people. I think it was I know that I'm being responsive. 